Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have a new Humble Bundle of interest to game developers, and it's been a while since we've had a good one, but today's, today is a good one. Huge value, actually, about 4,000 plus models, a low polygon style, uh, for like 25 bucks US. So what you're seeing here is one of the model pack demonstration environments running in Unreal Engine. This pack is available for both Unreal Engine and Unity, um, and also you can use them in other game engines uh, by extracting the Unity asset packs. I will show you how to do so uh, in another video in, in, that I'll, I'll follow up on this weekend. So here you can see uh, some of the assets. This is one of the packs, the demonstration level for it, running in the Unreal game engine. Uh, and now let's go take a quick look at the pack, and then we're going to go through all of the assets that are here uh, hands-on. So they've got a lot to cover today. This is the Polygon Game Dev Assets by Anapik Bundle. Uh, it's organized into tiers. You buy a higher dollar value tier, you get all the tiers below it. You decide how your money is allocated between Humble, Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose, and thank you so much if you do, to help support Game From Scratch. Now, this one is organized into three tiers, but this tier right here, this tier is what I like to call stupid. So we're going to ignore it because the pricing uh, is th basically $30, or $32. So you're not going to spend, uh, you know, $2 less to get only the six items. So we got the $1 tier here. This is a value. So you, here you get the um, the Town City Modular Pack and the Poly Light Survival Collection. Uh, any one of these, by the way, you can click on to learn a little bit more about it. Uh, and then finally, we have the full pack. So this is what your $25 US buys you. And it is a ton. Basically, you're going to find these mega packs have a lot of assets in them. And, and then there's the light packs, which have just a handful of assets in them. Uh, so we've got the survival kit, the mega survival tools, the mega survival medical kit. Those all work together. Basically, your post-apocalyptic style uh, worlds. We have a weapons kit. Uh, we have the um, Megopolis city pack, which I think is the biggest of the packs. Uh, we have the house appliances, Wild West, Farm, uh, the Light Halloween pack, Medieval Camp, New York City modular pack, uh, Fantasy Village, uh, the Forest Village Houses, and then the two $1 tier packs. So you're getting quite a bit in this, so let's take a look at what you actually get. So here we are back in the Unreal Engine section. I'm going to just be here to showcase something else, actually. Oops. Um, is this. So here is how the packs come down. Uh, they are zip files. So if I go back over here, uh, you get them as a series of zips. The nice thing here is they're all relatively small. About the biggest you get is 200 megabytes in size. These are all stored on Humble Bundle, so you're not getting product keys uh, for uh, the Unity or Unreal Engine asset stores. They are here. Probably means you're also not going to get updates, so you're buying what you see. Now the nice news is uh, their zip file, like the downloads, are pretty fast. Uh, so, uh, what you get inside of one of these is basically a, uh, an, a Unity package and then a zip file. You open up the zip file, and then what's inside of that is your Unreal Engine project. So, you just open up the Unreal Engine project, and you are good to go. In the case of the uh, Unity, you import it as a package. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Now, there is a way, and again, I will cover this in a follow-up um, follow video this weekend, but you can take a Unity package like this one and extract it out like this. So then what you've got is just raw models that you can work with. So you're going to have to set up a few things like lighting and materials or whatever, uh, but you get all the textures as well. So realistically, you can use these in the Godot game engine or, um, you know, Default or um, Cry Engine or whatever you wish. So you can see one of the examples, again, running in Unreal Engine. Now let's go take a look at the Unity version where I went ahead and I have basically everything but the lights uh, installed here. So for example, let's go to the Wild West. We'll take a look at one of the demos. So here is a demo scene. And what you got is, again, for some reason, all of the Unity lighting uh, is really blown out. So see, it's super bright, whereas over here, not so much. So I, I don't know why all the Unity demos are like this, uh, but sadly, the, the lighting is just super, super saturated. Uh, so here you can see you get a train, you get uh, all the things you need to make, like the, the train tracks and modular kits. You have all the mountain pieces that work together. Uh, so all of this stuff is available in prefab formats, which is pretty nice. So uh, they're, they're already set up with lighting, if it makes sense. Uh, they uh, literally can be just dragged and dropped into the scene, uh, like so, which is definitely a nice way to go. Also, you've got... Um, the models, if you for some reason want to set it up yourself, available here as well. So that's the Wild West pack. Uh, now we go to Household Appliances, which is shockingly uh, comprehensive. So I'm not going to save that. Come in here. Uh, so again, the lighting on all of their stuff is pretty blown out. So I think I'm on the wrong side. Let's look from this perspective. So what you're getting here is 
everything you need in a household. So we've got a, a ton of range hoods. Uh, we've got a ton of just various different appliances. So we've got like, um, I think that's a pancake maker. We've got blenders, we've got sinks, we've got uh, coffee makers and so on. Over here, we've got a variety of uh, microwaves and so on. Over here, we have appliances such as dishwashers and washing machines and uh, heating elements, fridges and um, closets and hangers and so on. So you got all the stuff you need to populate the inside of houses kind of covered in this particular pack. That's their household appliances pack. Uh, Medieval Camp. Uh, this one's actually pretty small. Uh, let me zoom out a bit. So again, the, the, the brightness of the light is way too high, but it's like a, it, this is a smaller pack. A couple of weapons. You got a handful of weapons you can see down here, and then a bunch of chests and tents and so on. Uh, the uh, City Megalopolis pack. This one is uh, pretty large, so we're going to do the daytime demo here. Uh, you can see everything you need to build a large modular city. So you've got highways, uh, you've got uh, high rises and so on. You've got hot air balloons, airplanes, houses, uh, subway or um, unirails or monorails. Uh, and then you've got the various different pieces you need to make all the land that goes around. And I think if we go off into space, there's another section to this over there as well. And then you get a variety of cars and vehicles, etc. So if you need to populate a city, uh, this is probably one of the more comprehensive packs there. By the way, there's also um, nighttime things as well. And what this illustrates is that the prefab are all set up for um, emissive channels. So you can see the light coming out of them as well, uh, which is definitely a nice tweak there. Uh, the Fantasy Village, uh, we saw this one. This is the exact same thing we saw in... Um, uh, in action in uh, uh, Unreal Engine. So this is just the, the assets as opposed to the demo scene, but everything you need to create. So you've got things like castle walls and so on, uh, dummy targets, and you've got a variety of buildings uh, for your environment. Uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. Uh, that one is, uh, we have a farm scene. So I think this is just a breakdown of the contents of it. So it's uh, all things you need to create a farm. So apple trees and plants and corn and sunflowers. And then we've got farm equipment and things used around a farm and bridges and, and overviews and so on and so forth. Um, the nice thing is there is a consistency to their art style. So you should be able to use this, um, all these packs quite easily together. Um, so here's a forest village. Ooh, foliage. Uh, so we got a number of shrubberies, uh, various different things you need to make the scenes. And then we've got over here, we've got some houses and such ready to go. So uh, everything you need to create a scene. So you start putting all of these things together. You're going to have a huge catalog of models to work from. Uh, we've got a collection of houses. I'll show you this one in prefab format instead. Uh, so let's zoom those up and we will make this bigger. So here you're getting a collection of uh Houses ready to go. Again, prefabs, so you can quite literally just drag and drop things into the scene and you're good to go. We got things needed for creating a street environment as well as a variety of vehicles. The Mega Survival Kit. Again, I'll show you just from the prefabs side of things. Here you're getting a number of, um, you know, post-apocalyptic things. You've got weapons, you've got um, uh, food. Actually, it's a, kind of a random pack, but it's the kind of things you would find in a, uh, you know, survival style game. Uh, again, we've also got it for tools. So we've got a number of uh, various different things like uh, torches and oil barrels and so on. Uh, then we come on down here, the Mega Weapons Kit. I'll show you this one in scene format. They did a pretty good job with the scene demo for this one. This is your, um, you know, Matrix scene, guns, guns, and more guns. So let's go take a look at what we get here. So you've got this diorama they've done up. So all of these various different weapons are available. Uh, ammunition shots, gun cases, gun uh, crates, weapons walls, and then we've got a variety of different firearms. They look like, so this looks like an MP5 to me, this looks like a P90 to me, and so on. So the guns do look like they're modeled from real world. So we got um, Spaz 12, for example, we got a variety of different uh, pistols, long guns, and so on. So the gun pack is pretty comprehensive in terms of weapons that are being modeled in that one. Uh, we got the New York pack. Uh, this one's actually. Uh, so that's my prefabs. Let's scroll on down. So this is all the various different pieces you need to go together to create, you know, New York style walk up homes. Uh, you can see an example of what you can make with it, say right here. Oh, that's a nighttime example. Let's do the daytime. Come on, daytime. Uh, here. So all of the assets you need to create like a New York cityscape style uh, environment available right there. Uh, then we got the town and city pack. And I, so I didn't show you any of the little packs just because uh, I kind of 
this demo goes on long enough as it stands. So this one is just a very simple city environment. Uh, so you got you know vehicles and, and lamps and lights and so on, stuff you need to make houses. You'll notice once again, for example, these, uh, these light posts have lights in them. So if I show you uh, nighttime, here we go. So the light should give off light in the environment and so your headlights on the cars, for example. So everything is pre-rigged and ready to go or pre-configured and ready to go in prefab format or in the equivalent for uh, Unreal Engine side of things. So again, a number of assets uh, in both Unity and Unreal Engine formats, plus stay tuned. I will show you a video showcasing how uh, to get these assets from Unity asset format into basically files that you can use anywhere. It's a pretty simple process, but I'm gonna follow it up in a separate video this weekend. So uh, that there is the pack. It is the, uh, again, what did they call this thing? The Polygon Game Dev Assets by Anapik. Uh, creative studios bundle i like it it's it's a great deal you're looking a little bit over 4,000 polygon packs uh, again pretty similar in style to cinti so if you've already bought some of the cinti packs you could really uh increase your library of uh, assets but otherwise just about every genre of game is well represented today the only thing you're kind of missing is characters uh so uh, let me know what you think of this pack. For 25 bucks. the fact that you can get it in Unreal Engine and Unity, and those uh, Unity versions can be used in other game engines, it's a pretty solid deal. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.